New week, Sunday. So let's see what sold. All right, everybody. So welcome back. Today is Sunday. So new what sold video. Let's see what sold this week. Now, as you can tell, we are at my father-in-law's house again. All right. So this is all my inventory that is listed. That box is empty. So that box is going to have to come with me back home to get filled up. This stuff, believe it or not, is not listed yet. These tapes are, but this stuff isn't. So we have to get that listed eventually, but we have a lot at home to deal with first. Okay. So here we have this piece right over here. This is the last piece, believe it or not, of the cuisine art stuff that I picked up. Little Pro. Again, another piece that I took from the bins. Just took it right off a food processor. Always be on the lookout for anything to do with food processor items. You see, look, I even have over here still like these food processor items. And this is for a, uh, a bread maker. So still have stuff that are still needs to be sold. But for right now, whoa. But for right now, we have this. Sold it for $15. Free shipping. Let's see what else. We got to pick up, which is all the way in here. All right. I have basically nothing into these two. There we are. You got these coffee cups from... Oh, you can't see it. Oh, wait, maybe you can. Whirly. Whirly Disney Drinkworks. Whirly Drinkworks. But it is from the Disney Parks. This I actually found in the bins, both of these. Again, Whirly Disney Parks. I found both of these in the bins. Ah, oh, not clear. Hold on. There we are. Both of these in the bins. I said that like five times. Both of these in the bins sitting there. And nobody picks these things up because they're little stuff that's sitting around. They are clean. Let's see if we can open it. How long it's going to take me to open with one hand. Ah, oh, there we go. They are clean inside. Yay. Both of them are clean. And everything works. I sold them. Both of them. $15 free shipping. They weigh press basically less than a pound. I have to close this. There we go. All right. So they basically weigh less than a pound. A dollar for both of them into $15 free shipping. So that is the sales for Sunday. Those are sales for Sunday. Next. All right. So we are at Monday. Apparently people stimulus checks are coming in and stuff are going out. Guys, I didn't even list anything this week yet. It's only Monday. My listing day at least for this week, is Tuesday, Wednesday. And then Thursday is my life, so make sure to be there. But I didn't list anything yet. And I'm still selling. I sold four things. That's rare for me in a regular weekday to sell four things. Well, let's go over them, show you what I sold. Back at my father-in-law's house, as you can tell. Oh, first and foremost, this racket's been up for a few months, actually. This is a Venus... Serena titanium racket. I'm here for right a second. Let's see if I can open it for you guys. All right, I had to stop for a second, but here it's a nice racket. Good condition, right? Good racket. Not that profitable, believe it or not. See, it's even coming apart over there a little bit, but not that profitable at all, believe it or not. $15 plus shipping. I ended up paying, what was it? I gotta put this back, hold on. Let's get this out. I ended up paying about three bucks for this, with a whole bunch of other things. Um, yeah, so it took a few months to sell, it sat for a little while, and I got lucky, that one sold out. Next, going back in here, oh, here we are. Gaskets for the magic. Let's put these on top here. Ah, uh, gaskets for the Magic Blender. These basically go around, like, the cups for the Magic Blender. Um, I parted it out. 
I parted a whole bunch of them out. Yes, it's seven. A few of them were in there, and all four were in there, so that's how it equals seven. Um, anyways, I had the whole magic blender. I parted it out, and these were what's left, and we sold them for 10 bucks plus free shipping. Next, well, this one I have to find. I didn't look for it beforehand. Where would it be? Oh, there you are with the rest of the plush, obviously. Hello. It's -a me, Mario. Say hi. Say bye. Twenty dollars. Free shipping. Cost me four. Stayed a few months in. I actually found them in Goodwill. It's -a me, Mario. All right. Too much over that. All right, so these are the three things we have over here. Uh, one, two, three. And, whoa. And we're going to go to the house because we have one more thing that sold. Took a little bit more time, but I expected it to and sold full price. Stay tuned for two seconds. All right, so back at home. Last but not least, we got this. This bathing suit over here. Swim trunks, however you may call it. Uh, it's Foundry uh, 5XL. Guys, this is huge. When I went into Goodwill and the woman asked me, like, what are you going to do with this? It's like 5XL. So uh, I basically told him I'm a reseller. So she looked at me and, like, shrugged her shoulders. All right. Anyways, this cost me about 4 bucks. I sold it for a 20 uh, I had two offers today, believe it or not, for, like, 10 and 13 I did. I actually gave him offers of 15 they both declined <laughs> and it sold for full asking price of $20 free shipping uh it's heavy so it's about 13 ounces it's gonna go out still first class and, and that's it for Monday see you Tuesday Tuesday yep that's what today is and as you can see it's dark outside it's late and dark outside what happened where am I? Well, if you notice, I still have my box that I have to drop off at the post office. Um, I forgot to drop it off today. It was my bad. I did forget to do my drop-offs before I came home. I'm going to close this so I can start driving. No, I'll leave that one open so you guys can at least see me. Uh, I'm going to start driving. I'm going to head to the post office. Yes, it's after hours, but here in New York City, we have the post office doors still open. Um, now they're still open. I could go in there and drop off my stuff in the drop box. The catch is, is I don't think that box is going to fit in the drop box at all. It's 25 inches. It's, it's the tennis racket that you saw yesterday. So I don't think it's going to fit into the drop box. We'll try. Let's see what happens. So let's get to the post office, drop off the stuff. Then we have to stop in my father-in-law to pick up the one. Yes, only one item today sold, so we will go pick that up as well. So, let's get going. Post office, here we come. Uh, guys, check how empty this post office is at nighttime. A little spooky. There's some cars here. We'll pull in. Let's go inside. All right, uh, let's get our stuff and there it is. Yeah, you can't see it, but it's here. All right, there's my stuff. Let's go in. Okay, cool. Let's put in the small stuff first. So, gonna have to wait in line until uh, we can get this box. This box. But, <laughs> there is no line. It's empty. It's closed. It's locked. So yeah, we're not going in there. We can't fill this up. I've put this on Instagram before. It says here, look. Well, you really can't read it backwards, but I'll read it to you. If this doesn't open, it means it's full. So, like, this thing gets stuck. If you just, like, and you 
wouldn't be able to pull it down. But yeah, they don't want you slamming it. That doesn't happen here at nighttime. And it's beautiful, like come here at night, put it in. The problem is, believe it or not, is that this gets scanned at night, uh, the next day, like after hours, like at six o'clock the next day. So I'm gonna be screwed on a defect on eBay probably. Um, but it's my own fault because I didn't drop it off earlier. Now tomorrow I have to wait in line to actually drop this one off. Oh well, all right, let's go pick up what we need to pick up. Right back at my father-in-law's house. That's the boiler room. <laughs> We're going to pick up one item that we sold today. Let's see if we can find it. Let's see if we can find it. Let's see if we can find it. Boxes are gonna get fuller today because we're gonna list some stuff tonight. That's what tonight is meant to do. I was actually supposed to do, well, I'm talking about something else when I'm trying to look for something. Let's start trying to find this thing, then we'll talk a little bit. Where is it? Oh, there it is, cool. Placemats. We found placemats. All right, open the nice placemats. They're nice, they're beige, right? Very nice placemats. There's, sh there's hold placemats. These beautiful two placemats sold on eBay for $10, free shipping. They're probably gonna cost me, they're light. They're probably gonna cost me, I'm figuring around $4 to ship. All right, didn't make it a few bucks, but guys, this comes from the Wholesale Ninjas lot. Warning, do not buy stuff from big lot places like Wholesale Ninjas unless you're really looking to make pennies and it's not worth the work, trust me. I have to just get rid of this stuff now. Look, you know what? I'm gonna even show you. I even have like this down here, this whole box over here. Whoa, this whole box over here has wholesale ninja stuff still left in it. I bought that lot Corona time. We're talking about over a year already and I'm still sitting in the whole bunch of it. It's, and it's for pennies. I just have to get rid of it already. I'm actually trying to sell a whole box for like 99 cents just to get it out, just to get rid of it at this point. Don't buy from, well, don't buy from wholesale ninjas unless you really know what you're getting yourself into. Anyways, sold this, gotta ship it. Let's get back home and catch you next. Wednesday. Yep, that is what today is, Wednesday. And we have two sales. Oh, let me get this straight. We have two sales for Wednesday for today. First and foremost, 3M Cavalons. So, what is a 3M Cavalon? 3M Cavalon is a skin barrier. No sting barrier film. It's a skin barrier. Basically what happens is, is when somebody has a wound, I'm a nurse, so that's why I'm giving you this whole speech now. But when somebody has a wound, they take this and they put it around the wound to make sure that the skin around the wound stays intact. This over here is good money. Always look out for anything 3M and always comp them. And guys, when it comes to wound care supplies, they are money. I sold 16 of these for $10 plus $5 shipping. So 15 bucks. Now, also keep in mind that anything that has to do with medical supplies, wound care, and so on, you got to look at the dates. So, the expiration over here, if you can see, is 2022. I have a bunch of them that are 2022 and 2023. Yeah, that makes sense. I'm sorry. It's late at night, and I'm just tired. But anyways, long story short, be on the lookout for wound care supplies because I listed these guys last night. And they sold overnight. Yeah, it was a good price, but it moves. Long story short. Next. Another wound care supplies thingamajig. Adaptic. Adaptic keeps the wound moist. And actually, it helps with not having to rip off any bandage off a wound. I just dropped it. It's okay. I have another one. Sold 18 of these. 18 of these for $19.99 plus $5 shipping. Camps up to about 25 bucks. Always be on the lookout for wound care supplies. They sell overnight. A lot of the time. All right, let's move on to... And it's Thursday. Okay, so 
I didn't really have any sales. The sale that just came in is technically Friday because we're past 12. So we're going to move it over to Friday. So no sales on Thursday. And now we move forward to... All right, it's nice and sunny. Finally, here in New York City, we are heading to my father-in-law's house to pick up the last item for this week. Let's go inside and see what it is. I'm gonna get a nice picture with the sun here. All right, let's get going. All right, so we only have, I have to look at the stairs, make sure that I'm not falling down. Oh man, look at this mess. Guys, my kids were here and they played. I hope they didn't touch my inventory. <laughs> Take a look at this mess. So like, get through the minefield here. I don't know how they do this. How do kids play? Ugh, gotta get this light normal. There we are. Make such a mess. Don't clean up. I really hope they didn't touch my inventory. Ah, okay. Boxes are nice and safe. Cool. Oh, I already found out what we needed. Right over there. The light decided not to work, so let's see if I can get a good spot to show you what I'm picking up here. Okay, this is a book. Yes, it's that small. Size of the hand. So it's going to go in a small pad of flat rate. No, this is not going into a small padded flat rate. This is going into a regular padded envelope and going to be shipped out media mail. Look how much writing this book has in it. Look at that. All that writing in there. You know why? Because look at the look at the date on this thing. And it still has everything intact. Although it has all the writing in it, but look at the date. Where is it? Check out that date, 1912. This book over here is over a hundred years old. I'm surprised that it's only worth what it's worth. I got ten dollars, <laughs> literally ten bucks, plus free shipping. It is what it is. That's what it's worth. But 1912, and it's still intact. It's impressive. But $10, free shipping, it's going to go out today. Guys, this has been a What's Old of this week. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. Support the channel by buying me a matzo bowl. Check the link below. And I'm going to put a link below to explain what I'm talking about. Catch you on the next one.